Hey YouTube, it's Ryan here. I'm uh, just starting off with, with a little Dreamweaver tutorial here on how to make your Dreamweaver setup a little more uh, flow a little better and save you setup time. So what I do and you know when I start a new document is I hit Command N, creates it, and out of the box Dreamweaver is going to give you some sort of transitional XHTML thing, and that's sort of a pain in the ass if you're doing HTML5 programming. So you know you might go in here and change it manually by deleting that. To work in HTML5 every time, you know, it's only a couple seconds, but it's it's a bit of a bugger if you do it every single time. So what I uh, wanted to show you was you go into your preferences, and then under New Document, you actually can change your. So it starts on General. You come down, click New Document, and your default document type is XHTML Transitional. I'd switch that to HTML5, and then you can play around with Canvas and all those fun HTML5 features. So now when I do my new document, check it out, HTML5, ready to rock. And then the second thing that's actually quite cool is in Dreamweaver, if I'm putting a table in here, it code hints, which is fun, and then it knows I'm trying to, you know, put that table in, but it's not that smooth at it, as you can see. I'd have to actually know what I'm doing here to type that out and make sure this is the right, the right tag and closing tag. So if I were to do a... Uh, table row it knows I'm doing a table row and you know that's it's a little chunkier and more caveman to be doing it that way so again I found this helpful for me when I'm pro when I'm programming to go into my uh, uh, code hints and it was defaulted to close tags never I kinda like to have this middle one selected see now when I type table uh, it'll close it automatically and then I go in here and I can do my uh, table row and that'll close automatically when I close the brace and then my table cells and that closes automatically and then the other cool shortcut that I just figured out is if you highlight the rows you want to indent so this is a pretty ugly table in my code I'd want to indent things nicely so I would actually hold down option and command at the same time and then I can use my uh, my right or closing bracket the square bracket on my keyboard and that brings things over to the right and the opening square bracket or cl or left square bracket moves it to the left so that's sort of a useful thing especially if you have a lot of code to move around you can hold down again that's option command at the same time and then your square bracket and that moves things out hopefully those preference changes will uh, help you code faster and easier and sort of save you some t some headaches in the future Woo! If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up, and if you uh, hate my video, please tell me in the comments below. Thanks.